It often happens that programming beginners feel bad because they have to use Google search for almost every programming task and without it they would be stuck at the beginning. And then of course at some point the question arises, is that actually cheating? And is that even beneficial if I use Google search so much and look for answers to my programming problems on Stack Overflow for example instead of immediately solving them myself? And I would like to talk about that today because this is a question that many people are asking themselves. Before we talk in detail about if Google is cheating, I would like to mention Jay Sparrow, which is absolutely useful for you as a Java programmer. With this great tool for Maven and Eclipse IDE, you can easily remove bugs, code smell, dead code, improve security issues and remove redundant code all with just one click. Jay Sparrow has saved multiple tens of thousands of hours in a variety of open source projects, removed thousands of bugs and 100% can help you save time, money and nerves by finding the issues in your code and fixing them automatically for you. Does that sound interesting to you? Then try out Jay Sparrow for free and see for yourself. You can find the link in the video description. Hello and welcome to the Jay Sparrow Start Programming YouTube channel. My name is Ben and today I want to talk about whether it's actually cheating to use Google search while coding. And I can give the answer directly. No. No, it's not. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. No, I was just kidding. Programming beginners often have two very specific problems. They A have a wrong view of how professional programmers work and B they expect far too much of themselves right from the start. Learning to program is not an easy task. I think we all realize that and you notice it yourself as a beginner over and over again when you want to take your first steps in the programming world. First, you have to learn the syntax of the programming language you want to use, then you have to learn the different functions and classes of the framework you want to use, then there are many other things to learn like when you for example develop games, you have to be familiar with mathematics to a certain extent and so on. And of course, it's not like you have to have learned all these things in advance and become an expert at them before you can write your own programs. This is of course complete nonsense and you will never become an expert in all areas either way because there are simply too many areas in the programming world for which you could become an expert. This means that over and over again you are forced to use Google search or any other search engine to research certain things in order to be able to build your program. That's completely normal and in the beginning you do it more often than what professionals do. But I can assure you one thing. Even the absolute programming professionals use Google search or DuckDuckGo or whatever you use very very much and several times a day. What you have to understand is that most programming problems have already been solved by someone in this world, no matter how small the problem is. And all these solutions are freely available on the internet. So you're not forced to reinvent the wheel over and over again for every little thing with every single task, but you can of course also use the solutions of other people and build your own program from these different solutions, which then is a solution for your completely own thing. And that's the beauty of the internet these days. We have the opportunity to program much more efficiently and quickly because we don't have to constantly look it up in books or ask any colleagues whether they have already been confronted with the task. Rather, we can just quickly go online and pursue a Wikipedia page or look on Stack Overflow to see if anyone had a specific bug we are having or a problem we are having right now. And yes, then you can help yourself to the solutions. This has nothing to do with cheating and you don't have to feel bad at all. On the contrary, it's actually very very good if you as a programmer learn to Google properly. And above all, it is important, especially as a complete beginner, to try to solve a problem on your own with simple tasks before you start the Google search and simply blindly copy a solution and say, okay, I'm done with the task. It's also important that you get the algorithmic thinking and of course you only get that in practice when you look for solutions to small problems on your own. That contradicts a bit what I said before, but it's also important that you train your programming thinking as a complete beginner who can't do it yet and just get a little practice because otherwise you're not doing yourself a favor. With that in mind, you now know that using Google search has nothing to do with cheating at all. I just wanted to explain that because many newbies feel bad about Googling too much. Don't worry about it. And in that sense, that's it with the video. If you liked it, I would be very happy if you subscribed to this channel and of course I would be very happy if you gave a thumbs up. And I wish you a wonderful day. Goodbye.